Juneteenth celebrations extended today into the Eastern States Exposition as well. 22 News reporter Mike Mascadrelli explains what local historians want you to take away from this important period of time in history. The U.S. officially recognized Juneteenth as a federal holiday this year, 156 years after the slaves were freed. History isn't always glamorous, so it's important that we give the full picture of the story. Stored in Village Museum wanted to educate the public on how Juneteenth came about, but also remind people that history lives on through the families of many black Americans. When the slaves were not freed, we still have people who are descendants of that who live in our country today. They may live in New England. What I want to do in the time that we have together is to unpack the history of Juneteenth. Springfield Technical Community College African American History Professor Anthony Guillory moderated the lecture, The Significance of Juneteenth in History and Present. When we talk about the EP, we often say that, that the EP, 1863, is when enslaved African people in the United States became free. That's not true. Now, he even took some time to debunk some myths, including about the Civil War. So this was just as much a history lesson as it was a way to recognize Juneteenth. Juneteenth commemorates the reading of the EP uh, to an enslaved population in Galveston, Texas. That's where the last group of slaves were freed on June 19th, 1865. He hopes people will remember these moments in time so that this piece of important history is never forgotten. Working for you in West Springfield, Mike Mascadrelli, 22 News.